Hi, welcome to Pema Driving School. My name is Florence Gatwiku. Today we are going to learn about the model town boat. So this is a model town boat. This is an example of roads we have in Kenya, especially in Kenya and even in South Africa. So we have several features in this road. One of them is one-way traffic road. So we are checking on features. places it is continuous white lines. Where it is broken white lines, you are allowed to change lane or to overtake. Okay? Where it is continuous white line, you are not supposed to overtake. You are not allowed to overtake. So, wherever you find white continuous line, no overtaking or changing lane. Where it is broken, lines you can change lane from lane number one lane, lane one lane to the other so for example this road has four lanes this is lane number one lane number two lane number three lane number four depending on the direction of the road we count the lanes from the left okay so this is lane number one lane number two lane number three lane number four for example, this is also a one-way traffic road. This is my left one, lane number two, lane number three. This road is a minor road, so it has three lanes. We have another major road here. It's a one-way traffic road. This is a phase of the direction, so we come from left one, two, three, four. So that is one-way traffic road. Another feature that we have in this road is a two-way traffic road. This is a road where vehicles move at opposite direction. This is an example in this table of a two-way traffic road. So these vehicles are moving to this direction on the same road. Others are moving at opposite direction on the same road. So as you can see, this road is divided by a yellow line. Okay? Yellow blocked line means you can overtake if the road is clear. So if you are in this site and you are somewhere like here, it is broken, you can overtake and then you always overtake on the right if the road is clear. If you are in a continuous line, means you stick to your side and no overtaking. So yellow continuous side, you stick to your side, no overtaking. So always overtake where there is a broken line. Where it is a continuous, maybe there is a corner, there is a bend. It is very risky for you to overtake at a continuous line. Sometimes you even find double continuous lines. It is showing how dangerous it is for you to overtake. So, we have the two features. One way and now the two way traffic. two-way traffic road. Another feature in this table, we have the roundabout. The roundabout, as you can see, it has four lanes. You count from outside. One, two, three, four. So we have four lanes in the roundabout and we deal with the roundabout sometimes later. So we have another feature that is the roundabout. Another feature in this 
table we have the parking. We have two types of parking. We have angle parking. That is one. Two, we have flash parking. Okay. So angle parking, this is the angle parking, it's also called the controlled parking. We have the flash parking here, it's also called uncontrolled parking. Okay, so we'll discuss more on that later. We are just checking on the features. We have another feature in this table, that is the pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian so whenever you find a pedestrian crossing like this one on a two-way traffic road in this case you must stop and give way to the pedestrians then you continue you stop give way to the pedestrians so these are pedestrian crossing another feature that we have is a giveaway sign a giveaway sign You'll, you'll find a giveaway sign in this table. For example, you're coming to, from this side. When you're coming from this side, you must stop and give way to the vehicles coming from right. So it is very risky for you to enter without giving way to the vehicles because you are, you are at risk in this case. So give, the, give way to the vehicles on your right. Then you continue, then following the car. So when the road is clear, after you give it away, then you can enter the highway. So we always find, especially on junctions, major junction or usual junctions, you must stop and give way to your vehicles on the right. We also have another sign. That is the stop sign. It's also you, you you can also find it when entering a junction, especially a junction like this one. There is a white con continuous line at the front, so you stop, give give way to the vehicles, so that you enter on the lane correctly and always keep left. So this is a stop sign. Another feature that we have, we have the yellow cards. Yellow cards. Yellow cards. You'll find it especially at the at the edges of the main roads. So yellow cards means no overlapping, no parking, no waiting, no stopping. So you're not supposed to park where there there is a drawn yellow cab on the sides of the road. It is very risky for you to park there. Uh, another feature in this table is the exit and the entry from the main road. Exit and entry. So while on this side of the road and you, you want to come to the other direction of the road, don't have to go to the roundabout. So there is the entry from the main road. Entry from the main road, you can use this entry. Then you turn to the direction of the other road because now you see this direction is going this side. So you can't come like this and then face this direction. You can always do a turn and then follow the, 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 the direction. Then if you're coming from this side, you can also use this exit and then come to this direction so you did like like you turns you can use them and then you don't have to use the roundabout if you, if you want to use this side another feature exit and entry for example you're coming from this side of the road and you want to come back you can use an exit then you come back if you're coming from this side, here there is an entry, come back to this side. So this one, this side of the road will use this entry, this side of the road will use this exit. So that's another feature. Another feature we have, the
the entry and exit also for entry and exit for the parking. Okay, which we'll talk more about. But uh, if you are coming from this side and you want to go to the angle parking, this is the entry. We always back to the furthest parking. This is the exit. So this is the entry to this side of parking. This is the exit. Direction to 